motion design was called one of the leading trends of this year. Animated elements have become a core part of powerful design by delivering innovative and fresh solutions. The animation is applied for various UI components of a digital product as well as for any other graphic material. Animated logo is a popular asset of marketing and brand identity. Motion designers turn static logos into something new and unique. Today, many brands continue sharing the animated version of the logo with the world. But why do companies invest into logo animation? Well, an animated logo is a modern and dynamic way to present a brand. It can show a company's character and transfer a certain message attracting the clients. Moreover, it is a good way to stand out from the competitors since an animated logo guarantees originality. So today, we will create a particle stimulated logo animation using Stardust into After Effects. I am Nick Hill from Dope Motions and without any further ado, let's get started. Alright, so here we are inside After Effects. Let's start by creating a new composition, which is going to be our main comp. So I'm going to call this main 1920 by 1080, 30 FPS in 10 seconds should be good. Hit OK. Let's create a new solid. So hit Control Y on the keyboard to create a new solid. And I'm going to rename this to particles. Hit OK. And onto this layer, I'm going to add the stardust. There we go. So basically Stardust emits 3D particles which we can manipulate in different number of ways. So let's try to tweak some settings. So first of all, I'm going to go into the emitter. Let's change the emitter type from point to grid. Then increase the particles per second to around 500 and speed to 300. Then let's go into the particles section. Go into particle properties. I'm going to increase the particle size to around 12. And also let's move the particles a bit to the top because I want the particles to come at the bottom from the top just like that. Then let's change the size of the X to around 200. Now we don't need any particles in the Y and the Z direction. So let's say, let's change the size Y to 2 and the Z to 1. So we have something like that. Also into the particle section, I'm going to increase the birth or the life per second to around 10 seconds because our composition is 10 seconds long. Now, if your composition is five seconds long, you should go with five. Now let's create a new composition, which is going to be our logo comp. Now, in this case, you can use a logo or a text, whatever that you prefer. I'm going to call this logo and hit OK. Let's select the text tool and I'm going to type in something like colors. You can, of course, type in anything that you want, or you can also use your logo if you have one. There we go. I'm going to keep this white. All right, let's go back into the main composition and drag the logo comp that we just created into the main comp. Now let's go into the layer and auto trace. So it's going to create mask over the shapes that we have or the logo that we have. So if I just turn on the mask, you can see we have this really nice mask created around our text. So let's hide this for now. We don't need to see it. Go into particles and I'm going to add a 3D model node. So I'm going to add a model node just like that. And into the model, I can change the model source from file to text and mask. Then I can go into the extrude layer and then I can select the logo composition that we just created. There we have it. Now let's go ahead and add some dynamics to our particles. So to do that, I'm going to add a physical node to this and then I can attach this to the particle. L let's create one more physical node and attach that to the model. Now in the particle physics section, physical section, I'm just going to bring down the friction to zero and change the axis to X and Y. All right. And then into the physical section of the model, I need to change the type from dynamic to kinematic and then change the stimulate using the from sphere to model. So now, as you can see, nothing really happens. Now, what we need to do is go at the very top into the physics section and then just turn on the stimulation. Now it's going to take a few seconds to render the stimulation. And now if I play it, you can see we have this really nice 
particles falling on to our text. Now you can obviously play around with the particles. So I can go into the particles section. Let's bring up the size randomness to around 80%. And we can also add some colors to our particles. So I'm going to change this from solid color to a random from gradient. Then you can add your own gradient if you want to, or you can go into the preset and select one. So I'm going to select the color 10 one, hit apply. And there we have some really nice particles or balls falling on to our text. Now let's go ahead and make our composition more interesting. So let's add a background pretty quick. So hit control Y to create a new solid. I'm going to call this BG for background, make it a white color. Let's put it at the back. So now it looks like our text has disappeared, but it still looks very, very nice. Now I want this balls to not just fall off, but to stay inside just like a container. So to do that, we need to create some walls which will act as a container. Let's create a new solid again. So hit control Y and I'm going to call this walls. Hit OK. Let's solo this up. Select the rectangle tool and let's create a mask just like that. One more like so. There we go. There we have our nice mask. Let's hide this. We don't need to see it actually. Let's go into the particles and then I can add one more model node. So I can just click right here and let's rename this node to walls. So I'm going to select it, hit enter and rename it to walls. All right. And then in the model source, I can select the text, the text and mask again. And into the extrude layer, I'm going to select the walls. All right. And then I can connect this walls to the physical tab of the model. So now we have two nodes connected to the physical node. So now if I preview this, you can see the balls are inside the container. All right. Let's actually hide the background for the moment so you can see it more properly as you can see right here. Now what I need to do is let's select the walls right here. Go at the very bottom into the model properties and then I'm going to create a null. So let's create a null. Also increase the size a bit to maybe 110 and let's place it into the center. All right. Now let's go into the model controller that we just created using the null. Hit P to bring down the position and let's bring this out of the frame just like so. And there we go. So now the balls are getting collected into the container. And that is what I am going for. So before we move ahead, let's preview our complete animation ones. So as you can see, this is looking very nice and dynamic. So I'm pretty happy with this. Let's turn on the background. Now what I can do is let's go into the logo comp that we have. Copy the colors layer. So hit control C, control V to paste it up. Let's solo this up for the moment. And I'm going to also change the color just so we can see it more properly. I'm going to just make it some little bit of gray. Right click on the layer. Go to create and create shapes from text. Now we have a shape layer created from our text. Then we don't need any fill for this. So I'm going to set the fill to none. We just need the stroke. So I'm going to set the stroke to around four pixels. So now we have this really nice strokes and let's go into the properties. Let's go into contents, select the contents and add a trim part to this. There we go. And now I can animate the stroke just like so. Pretty cool. Let's go to around, maybe I'll go to one second. Let's set the end property to zero, create a keyframe, go to around maybe somewhere around, let's go to three seconds and set this to hundred. All right. Now let's go a few frames back, create a keyframe on the start property, go a few frames forward again and set this to hundred. So now we have something like this as you can see looks pretty cool maybe i'll increase the distance a bit so this is looking much better as you can see select it and hit f9 to easy ease the keyframes very nice 
Also, I can animate the offset as well. So let's create a keyframe on the offset. Go right here and set this to around 180 degrees. Select it and hit F9 to ease, ease the keyframes. So now we have this really nice animation. Now for the colors, I'm going to pick the same colors from the particles. So let's select it. And I can just pick whip from the particles that we have. So this really nice red color that we have, hit OK. Hit U so we can see the keyframe and duplicate it, hitting Control D on the keyboard. Then just move a few frames forward just to displace it a bit. So, get, so we get two stroke layers. Now I can just solo them up so that we can see it more properly as you can see. Also, I can go into the particles and turn off the stimulation just for the moment. Okay, so now we have two strokes as you can see. Let's select the second one and for the color, I can choose something like maybe a light green that we have or a yellow one that looks much better, I think. See, very, very nice. Let's select this again, hit Control D to duplicate it. Push this a bit forward in time. And for this one, I can go with a really nice green color. So there we go. This is looking very, very nice. Maybe I'm going to select all the three layers and displace them a bit more in time, just like so. So we have something like that. Let's go into particles and turn on the stimulation again. Let's hide the model controller. We don't need to see that null. So as you can see, this is looking very, very nice. Now let's turn on the text layer that we have and I can give different color to different letters. So what I can do is select it. Let's select the C and maybe I'll give it a really nice red color. Select the O. Let's give it a nice yellow color or yep, yellow color. Let's give this one a nice green. Select this one and I'll give it a nice orange color. For this one I can give this really nice darker green that we have. And for the S, I can give a nice yellow color. So we have this really nice colorful letters. Now I can select this, hit T to bring down the opacity. Go to seven seconds. Create a keyframe, bring down the opacity to zero. Go to around eight seconds or maybe eight seconds and 15 frames and bring this up to 100. Select it and hit F9 to easy ease it. And there we have a pretty cool animation with our dynamic particles. So you can use a logo or a text, whatever that you want to go with and make it look very, very cool. So that is a wrap for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. And if you did, then make sure to subscribe, comment and like the video. Make sure to follow me on Instagram because I am super active there at dope.motions. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Till then, take care. Thank you so much for watching. And don't forget to stay raw, stay creative.